All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be working on the crew cab, see if we can't get a little bit of stuff done to that. We're gonna go ahead and use the new car lift for the first time and see if we can't get the cab pulled. I've already got the bolts taken out of the body mounts. Uh, they came out pretty easy. I just used the impact and I didn't have any troubles with any of them breaking off, but that's all disconnected. The lines are disconnected from it. Um, the steering shaft here is unbolted and I'll just go ahead and pull that uh, when we lift the cab up. I also need to take this power steering line off, but we're gonna go ahead and get that rolled into a position and see how this new car lift works. All right, so we got the crew cab rolled under here and a couple of other lines unhooked. We're now ready to, to lift it up and see how it does. All right, here's the camera place. Let's see if it works. I think we're touching here on this that guy uh. all right so we got the cab lifted off here the car lift worked great for that ended up forgetting the e-brake line so I needed to we had to disconnect that from back there and snake it up through but other than that I think everything was good steering uh, shaft came off good no problems there the rest of it lifted up good I think it's working awesome what do you think Car lift was a great investment. We're super excited to have this. It is gonna make life a lot easier doing these projects. So I guess now we're gonna go ahead and get this chassis rolled outside. That way we can pressure wash it before it starts getting too cold. And then after it's all clean, we can start tearing it down. I don't know how far we'll get today, but we'll go ahead and start working on that now and see where we end up. All right, so we got the chassis rolled outside. We're gonna go ahead and start washing this up. I forgot to get some engine degreaser, so I might need to go back to the parts store and get some. I wanna get all this stuff cleaned up. That way it's ready so we can start tearing it apart and working on it. We don't have to worry about a bunch of dirt and stuff falling in our face, so. We're gonna start cleaning that up and go get some engine degreaser if we need to. All right, so I'm out here getting this washed up. It's coming off pretty decent. The, uh, the degreaser's working all right. It's not the best. I've used some better stuff in the past. I'd like to get some more and put it in a little spray bottle, but for now it's working. You just gotta get real close with it, take off any of the grease. There's quite a bit up front here. The back's not too terrible, but it's coming off good. We're about done washing it. This is the last soak with engine degreaser, and then we're gonna roll it back in the shop, and then it'll be ready to start tearing apart. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the cab down on some dollies. I ended up picking these up from Harbor Freight. They're just little cheapies, but no work for now. We're gonna set the, set the cab down on those and then we'll be able to roll it around and work on it on the side. And when we wanna pick it back up to work underneath of it and clean it, we can just put it back on the lift and then lift it up and clean and paint the underneath of it. So that should work good for now. And it'll be nice so we can roll it around and it's not hard planted anywhere uh, and in our way. All right guys, so the chassis is rolled back in the shop. Got that tucked over here. We got the cab lowered down onto the dollies. They didn't work the greatest. They kind of move around, but they'll work for now. It's enough to roll it around where we need to be working on it. So later on, we'll get that all stripped and start working with that. But I'd like to wait until later to do that. I want to get the chassis done at the moment. So we need to take off all these lines related to the fuel system because we'll be doing something different there. We can take this off because I will only be using that tank over there. I also have a 31 gal gallon uh, blazer tank that I'd like to put in the back if I can. And then I'll have the back one and that one. We'll see how I go about doing that. I'm not sure. That'll probably be a completely different video. And then uh, just tearing the rest of it down. I do have some frame plates coming to box in the frame. I want to get it boxed uh, down here a little ways so it'll be a little bit better for the power we'll be running. So we got to take quite a bit of stuff off so we can get that all in there and then get some of the front all stripped apart and just kind of tear it apart and get it cleaned up and get those plates welded on and then get the frame painted so we also still need to go through the axles i want to check all the bearings and seals and that most likely to replace all the seals and go through the outers this has 410 gears uh, we'll be staying with 410s uh, that'll work good for what I'm wanting to do with it, and they should be good. We'll tear the diff covers off and see how those look. And if we need to do any work to those, we can get that done. But it's all cleaned up, ready to start tearing apart. 
uh, having it all degreased and clean will make it a lot easier for uh, painting it and whatnot. So I'm probably not going to go as far on this as I did with my K5, you know, stripping it down to bare metal and painting it through a gun. This will probably get stripped a little bit and then rattle can. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I want to keep moving forward and get it going as soon as possible. All right, guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. Uh, we didn't have much time to work on this today, but I did want to get the cab off and the frame clean before it starts getting cold. It's supposed to drop into the lower teens this next week, I believe. So we got that all done. It's in here. We can start tearing it apart hopefully this week or this next weekend. But that's going to be it for this one. Make sure to check out the other videos on the crew cab. We're going to have a bunch more coming. And we got some cool parts showing up for this. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.